This video tutorial is part of the Scanix tutorial series by Pix Imaging. It is the second part of a two part segment on scanning books and magazines. We are now in the random pages mode, whereby there is only a single thumbnail column. This mode is used for scanning any random page, and need not be in sequence. The pages saved onto a PDF file shall follow the sequence shown on the thumbnail. For scanning contiguous pages, like a chapter of a book, use the contiguous page mode by clicking the page mode toggle button. Notice that now there are two thumbnail columns. One representing the left pages, the other representing right pages. In this mode, all the pages on one side are scanned first. Then the book is turned around before scanning pages on the opposite side. Before starting a scan, check the first page of the chapter. If it is on the right, click on the right column icon here. If it is on the left, Click the left column icon. In this case, the first page is a left page. Therefore ensure the left column icon is highlighted. Always start the scan with the first page. Once a flash of light is observed, you can proceed to flip to the next page, flatten and hold still until the next flash. Continue the sequence until all pages on the same side are scanned. Then rotate the book around and continue scanning the opposite pages. When Perfect Capture detects a book rotation, a message box will appear to confirm if you've just done so. If yes, just press Enter. Now you're scanning back towards the first page. Once the left and right pages are equal, a message will appear to remind you not to scan beyond the first page. To save the pages, click the Select All button, then click Save. You can then choose to save as PDF text or PDF image. As PDF text, the actual image shall be discarded and only the decoded text are shown. The advantage of this format is its very small file size. However if you wish to keep the original scanned images, you can save as PDF image format instead. Scanex has two page detection modes for scanning bound materials.
one mainly for textbooks and the other for magazines. Right click on the mouse button while pointing on the preview window and you can choose audio or semi auto detection modes. See that the four edges of the page are clear of printing. These are normally true for novels and paperbacks. Use auto page detection mode for these types of books. However most magazines have pages with printing all the way until the edges, like this one. For these pages, choose the semi-auto page detection mode. In this mode, the double blue lines are replaced with a single orange line. Place the gutter of the magazine such that it aligns with the orange line as closely as possible. The page edge near the gutter shall be cropped exactly at the orange line. As most magazines have glossy pages, remember to tilt the laptop screen or stand until the forbidden band turns orange. In cases where by ScanX is on a laptop and facing the side, the scanner angle needs to be changed and the scan pad moved away from the laptop like this. Remember to align the two white markers to the edge of the preview window before placing the magazine. As most magazines are thin and wide, the thick side pages may not need to be flattened by fingers. Like this page. It becomes flat naturally and ready to be scanned. However for thin side pages, you may need to lift up the opposite side in order for them to lay flat, like this. In cases where by flattening by finger is inevitable, choose an area clear from details to place your index finger. Otherwise the finger removal process may corrupt the page content. Look. No shadows. No gloss patches. Vivid colors. Peaks.